Joplin, Missouri. It is a devastating scene. I'm, uh, it's just the, the images go on forever, it seems like. More Oklahoma. A rumbling in the ground that just turns your stomach. Greensburg, Kansas. We're trying to find a jewelry box that she lost right now. Not to forget El Reno, Parkersburg, and more. Recently, some of the strongest and most destructive tornadoes have occurred in May and the largest outbreaks. But we know tornadoes can and do happen in any month. So why is May so special? May becomes very active because it basically has all the ingredients for a large number of states. In particular, the dry line, that's the west edge of the Gulf of Mexico moisture, becomes very active where it clashes with drier southwest air coming in. And that collision fires up thunderstorms day after day. We have the instability, the warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico can spread all the way from the Gulf of Mexico to the Canadian border at times. And at the same time, we still have the jet stream that's active across the central part of the U.S. And that is fueling the potential for those thunderstorms to rotate, to become supercell thunderstorms that produce tornadoes. And when we say threat, it's interesting to look at just what that means when it comes to tornadoes. In the month of May, the probability of a tornado is five to six times more in some states than that of the rest of the country. I'm meteorologist Chris Warren, The Weather Channel.